Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for two million total views on YouTube. I cannot believe the number. I can't believe 10,000 subscribers. I can't believe two million total views. I am just humbled by um, your, your guys' presence on the channel, and uh, I will continue to crank out content, and I can't believe we've we've passed that many views and that many subscribers, and there is just more content to follow, so I, I can't wait to bring it to you. And here is an example of that. We are on day three of our challenge with the robots. We're playing match points. We're playing non-best hand. So here we clearly are playing non-best hand. We have a seven count. And I left you off with this question. It's pass a club to you. What would you do? And the answer is weird. I guess I would I would bid a spade pretty much always. I don't love it. I just I want to make sure if I'm playing with a partner that's not used to an aggressive overcall like this, I probably would pass. And it's because I'm vulnerable, right? I'm a little worried about that and I'm worried about the robot getting too excited, but really they're a past hand so they can't get terribly excited and I'm using this more as a lead direction than anything else, right? I'm trying to get partner off to a good lead, especially if they have shortness that they wouldn't normally lead. And here, hopefully we've escaped with our lives. They'll play some no trump here. Okay, great. Make your lead, folks. We overcall the spade. <laughs> we overcall the lead director and we're on lead. Make your lead, folks. What are you going to do? The answer is you're going to lead the eight of spades, right? You're leading fourth best in this situation. And some of you might be saying, well, why the heck aren't we leading the ace? Well, it's because we're in the wrong contract. If we were defending against a suit, we would lead the ace of spades for sure. We're defending against no trump. So it's our job to give the opponents their trick first, if they're getting one, uh, and then take the rest later. And really look at the rest of our hand, folks. Where are our entries? They're only in spades, so it's really important in situations like this when we have our hand constructed this way that we get rid of our loser first and then hopefully partner as an entry and we'll know to lead a spade towards our hand. Uh, let's take a quick dummy had, what, 12 points there? Is that right? Dummy had 12. Right hand opponent open the bidding and rebid, so that's 13. 13, 12 is 25, right? And let me, let me show you what I'm doing here if I'm going too quickly. There's 12, there's 13, that's 25. I have seven, that is 32. Partners, partner has some room over there, right? They have room for about eight points. And we're pretty confident with those ranges because righty really dialed in uh, 12 to 14. We can see everyone had three diamonds, except for dummy. Let's see, we usually we give count, but I don't want to surrender the nine of hearts just yet. Definitely can discourage in clubs. Where's partners? Eight points. There's some of that pointage. Do they have a spade? If they do, we're taking some tricks. They do not. Yuck. If they do, we're really upset with them. Here, I don't want to give them the count in the heart suit just yet. Now it doesn't matter. And now, yeah, they just have spades and we're in play. <laughs> That's messed up. We're going to give them a trick. We should have pitched a spade, I guess. That's too bad for us. Bad, bad match point play by us, actually. Once the, uh, let me show you what happened here. Kind of just lost track of things as I was talking to you guys. So let, let's take a look. Terrible choice. Uh, watch at this moment. Uh, maybe we can't, maybe they strip us entirely. I think they did. No, they just stripped us entirely. We have no choice. But if we did have a choice, guys, once we figure out that partner doesn't have a spade, and it doesn't happen until right here. Right, the moment partner gets in, they haven't pitched anything, right? The moment they get in and they don't lead a spade is the moment we know they don't have any spades left. So if we had a choice, we should pitch spades. As it turns out, look at them. They just they they stripped us entirely down to our, our bare minimum and just threw us in at the end. Well done by Declare by figuring out exactly what's happening. Maybe we gave them too much information. <laughs> All right, here. Uh, but they would have figured it out by our opening league. Key key points on this one though. Um, Number one, always fourth best from this, right? Because honestly, a partner has two spades in the same holding. Give them the five of spades. Now we're just beating this thing, right, on, the, on that same line. So here, very important, get your loss out of the way 
and that partner has that entry, it's going to mean a lot more when they have two spades rather than just one. All right, good start. Uh, really nothing we can do here. You would expect this to happen at the other table. One thing that maybe didn't happen at the other table that would happen at ours is our overcall of one spade. All right. Ooh, take a look, guys. This is what you asked for. This is a non-best hand tournament. Notice last week, we, we had lots of plus scores on our side. This week, it's pretty much been an east-west week, which is fine, right? We're playing duplicate. Our robots at the other table hopefully are going to do some good stuff as well. Uh, here, right-hand opponent open to heart. We're, we're done, right? We're just going to see where this ends up. Two spades. Interesting. What do the robots play this as? Hang on. What's two spades? Wait. I'm not sure why it... It, it has this pass on the screen. All right, there we go. Uh, all right, what's two no trump? That's the unusual two no trump. Good. All right, so Soloway jump shift. Two spades is a huge hand, usually six plus spades and a whole bunch of points. And our partner our partner showed five five in the minors, and uh, it, it's supposedly saying 15 plus total points, but that's with a lot of shape. So could certainly be uh, highly preemptive. I'm not going to mess around with this. I, it seems like the opponents might get into some trouble here because they may be misfitting. Four diamonds is solid spade splinter. Interesting. Notice we're getting into just some new robot ground, right? This is the robots having a massive hand. I do not recommend any of these things. The two spades solo way jump shift is kind of... That's not used much anymore. Uh, this one's kind of interesting, though. <clears throat> Excuse me, this four diamond bid just says, look, partner, I have shortness in diamonds, one or less, and I have solid spades, which I've been great great agreement to have. It says to the, the robot, we're playing spades, partner. And five clubs is looks like just the ace of clubs. Let's see what happens to our left. Six spades is, yeah, I told you we're playing spades. We're playing spades. So here's, I expect like ace, king, queen, seventh of spades to my left, only because I can see the jack in my own hand. We expect diamond shortness, but that means clubs is, excuse me, hearts is short as well. Lefty has at most two hearts. So what I expect to my left here, and this is, I'm not on lead and partner's going to kind of show us some stuff, but let's just think about this before we see anything. Lefty, I expect to have, East King, Queen, Seventh of Spades, one or zero diamonds, and honestly, one or two hearts, right? So they have spades and clubs, or they just have an eight card spade suit, Ace, King, Queen, Eighth. Uh, righty, sounds like they have six hearts. They certainly have, you know, an opening hand, and they did not have to bid here, so this didn't really limit their hand, just showed extra hearts. All right, so let's let's defend six spades here. King of clubs, okay, partner has king queen of that here. Let's just, before we do anything, let's take a quick look at what that dummy was. Um, dummy had the ace of clubs, so dummy had an 11 count. We had an entirety of one point, so that's 12. And lefty went nuts in spades. And North showed um, a two-suited hand, which maybe does not contain the Ace of Diamonds. Is that possible? All right. They, uh, although they could just have King, Queen of Clubs, Ace of Diamonds, and maybe we're getting two tricks. Uh, here, we're just playing low, obviously. We're not going to do anything. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right. So Lefty didn't just have Ace, King, Queen, Eighth of Spades. Now, let's, let's play Count This Hand, folks. All right. So here's what we've just come up with. This was the last trick. And notice you can you can see what happened in the last trick until you make your play. So here it went spade, low, ace, and partner showed out. So dummy started with exactly one spade. We started with three. Our partner started with zero, which means declare started with how many? Well, that is nine, folks. That's our 13 spades. So nine spades, ace, king, queen, ninth of spades to our left to start this hand with. And partner led a club, and left-hand opponent did follow suit in clubs. Um, that's not a suit they showed shortness in, so we expected that. So they have at least one club. Um, and here we go, guys. Let's see what Let's see what else is about to happen. They might just rip off nine spade tricks here. And by the way, Dummy had six hearts, and was that, wait, was that the second heart that partner threw? 
No, they threw a diamond and a heart, and I think they threw a club originally, right? Um, so, yeah, we're just going to pitch a low heart. So let's count lefty. We're still counting lefty. The problem is they haven't played any other suit. They've just shown nine spades, and they continue to just play spades. And they just continue to play spades. Here comes the club. Okay, so now we know they started with nine spades, at least two clubs. It seems like zero hearts, but they could have stiff ace, I suppose. And uh, and now we'll, we'll, we're going to find out the rest. They have two clubs, though. There's 11 of their cards. So there's the queen of clubs. Here comes the eight of clubs. So they had exactly two clubs. There's 11. Here is one heart. We know they don't have more than one heart because they would have claimed by now. If they didn't, they're just... Yeah, okay. There's their ace of diamonds. Boom. And there's their original shape, guys. They were 9-1... They had, they had nine spades, one heart, two clubs, and one diamond. That is insane. And they bid too much, folks. They didn't get to a key card situation, unfortunately. What an exciting hand for the other side of the table, even though we had one point. It's pretty interesting. This is just a, a conclusion that happens right after the club lead. Notice they can't get to dummy to pitch any of their losers, right? They have nine spades. They have the Ace of Hearts, which they could pitch any loser they want on that King of Hearts. The problem is our beautiful robot friend led the King of Clubs, which says, yeah, guess what you can't get to dummy with? The Ace of Clubs. So this is just destined to fail, even if you lead the Ace of Diamonds, I think. Yeah, as long as you switch to the King of Clubs, you're just crushing this contract. Really wacky hand. But notice what we're doing there. I have one point and I have five hearts. I might as well count left-hand opponent's hand, right, while I'm not doing anything. And notice I have nothing to protect. I just need to count their hand and we'll figure it out. And then partner's got the tricks to take. Partner resisted the urge to bid again on this hand. Look at this craziness, right? They didn't bid anything over five diamonds. I might have just trotted out five clubs just to see what's going on over there. It's really nuts. So, but here, by just being silent, with our hand, they've gotten to play six spades, and going plus on this hand is huge for us. As you can see, they can make a whole bunch of other stuff. All right, let's see where we're leading off tomorrow with an exciting Wednesday we just had. This will be tomorrow's hand, and ooh, finally, at least a, a little sniff of an opening hand. We're the dealer, so we'll, we'll start with one club, and we'll see where we'll end up. But this is uh, two days left in this match point challenge, non-best hand variety versus this robot. And this is the card we expected last week. We, we actually ended up looking like a best hand tournament last week to some degree because of all the pluses we had. Here's our minuses, folks. We're, this is when we're sitting here going, well, if we're playing a team event, we're like, we're going to be relying on our partners. Good graces here. As the opponents have, it's been their way so far, but we have four boards left. We'll see what kind of trouble we can get into with these. And don't forget, guys, the complete guide to doubles is out on bridgelesson.com, and it is awesome. So join us for that. The live, the live practice session occurs Wednesday, May 25th, which is actually today, if you're watching it, if you're watching this on the day of its release. And if you're watching this 10 years from now, the complete guide to doubles is still available, and it is still great. So join that. Get that course under your belt and get your partner playing all those bids with you. And you guys will be deadly in those competitive auctions. So I'll leave that in the comments for you guys. And I'll see you in the next version of this tomorrow, guys, Thursday.